So check. So here I am again, Teacher Pinoy Angels, and I've been busy for the past days, few weeks, and I've been thinking about what to content on my channel. So obviously, I'm a teacher, and our we have this project in our class regarding video blog. So I came up with this idea that to why not um, post the videos of my students regarding their project in their prelim. So I to cut it short, I choose somewhat. Uh, just yesterday, I choose someone, and today, I every day I'm going to choose one video with the best outputs they have, and yeah this student that i'll be posting now is also also has a channel she has a channel and by the way before any before anything else before we start i just want to remind everyone that before posting these videos i i i first ask permission from the owners of the or from the students from the owners of this video if they will allow me to post their videos for uh, private data purposes okay so uh, this student is one of is under my advisory class m11d she also has a channel and if you want kindly check out her channel i'll be posting it there and yeah Without further ado, let's check it out. Her work is Jasmine Pay from 11 b Hello everyone, I'm Jasmine Pei Bang Lista, a grade 11 student of JRU in Accountancy, Business and Management. And I'm here to share with you guys what I've learned in our Empowerment Technologies course in Prelim. According to Ms. Eloisa Manabat, Empowerment Technologies or ETEC often deals with the use of different technologies such as mobile phones, telephone, computer, and other devices to locate, save, communicate, and to inform. Technology is important for its innovative uses that are sufficient in our daily life. The things I've learned in Empowerment Technologies are as follows. The evolution of ICT, the use of OneNote Clipper, the right and proper way of gathering data. Yeah, uh, common technique of editing pointing somewhere and putting after it putting the text resources online and the guidelines on how to be a kind responsible mind would you just imagine if you point something there and you forgot to put the text and strong user here in the online world. Let's first discuss the fast and fascinating evolution of ICT. ICT stands for Information and Communications Technology or the use of technology to teach or to inform people on how they can improve their skills in using technology wow, and great how explanation. they can use technology in their daily lives. It all started with the Microsoft Word 1 in 1983 followed by the Windows 1 in 1985, and next is the World Wide Web by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. After five years, the first web browser was released, which is the original Yahoo in 1994, followed by the Google Incorporation American Search Engine Company in 1998, and the Windows 2 coined by Darcy DiNucci was released in 1999. And after five years in exact date of February 4, 2004, the Facebook was born, followed by YouTube in February 2005, and next is the Twitter which was created in March 2006 and was released on the same year in July. And the first iPhone was released in June 29, 2007. And the two remaining social networking sites are Instagram which was launched in October 20 and was exclusively for iOS users only. And next is the Snapchat which was launched in July 2011. And did you know that there's actually an online notebook? And that is called the Microsoft OneNote or the OneNote Clipper. This is the best tool to store, clip, and organize your gathered articles online. So mm -hmm. all you have to do is search for OneNote.com or OneNote Clipper. And there, click Get OneNote Web Clipper. And then it will directly oh, yeah. go to your downloads. And now you can clip your notes there. 
So this step is for the Shout iOS users MacBook or the MacBook users. users. So all you have to do is search for yahoo.com and go to your downloads and go to add bookmark and go to your bookmarks and you just click the link that you just added and then edit address and then I will put the code down below in the description box so you just paste the code there and Very now and all you have to do is explain. to click the link and now it will show you the one Five stars clipper, sign and all you have to do is to sign in on your Microsoft account and now it will show you the page of your chosen article so you have your choice so yeah, if you want application to be clipped is very useful and you are doing research so now you just choose what notebook or where you would clip your article and now clip it. And now you can view it in your you OneNote. And there, there's the article you've chosen. You can also change the color of your notebooks if you want to to make it more organized. For example, I want my notebook to be yellow and there. You may also rename your notebook. For example, I want to rename my notebook. See how easy you can organize your online notebook using OneNote. All you have to do is to clip your chosen articles and change the colors of your notebook to make it more organized. Now that we knew how to clip and organize our gathered articles, it's now time to learn what are the important steps to gather the correct data for your research. Make sure that the articles you've chosen are accurate and not fake. And that these articles are from an... Okay, that's for now if you want to check the whole video of her you can kindly check her channel yeah, i'll be posting the link below the description box so so far yeah overall she got the perfect presentation that i was asking or the subject is requiring yeah so far, she's really good in editing her video because she is already, she already have a channel herself. So, kudos for your editing skills, Jasmine Ibangista. And watch out for her name and her channel. For sure, she will be a successful blogger someday. Okay, for, that's for all. Thank you for watching. Again, let's see you again tomorrow and for another lab um, video presentation. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all.